What's up guys, Matthew Monas here and welcome back to another camera comparison. Today we're comparing the Huawei P20 Pro versus the P20. I wasn't gonna do this, but I've already compared these phones to a couple other devices and in the comment section, a lot of you are asking me to compare these two against each other. In the first photo, we have a picture of a fire truck. This is on a very cold, gloomy day here in Toronto. The P20 does the best job of exposing the shot correctly. This looks exactly like the time of day. The reds are nice and dark. The background is properly exposed. It overall looks more reminiscent of real life. The P20 Pro on the other hand looks more appealing. I think if I had to pick a photo for Instagram, I'd pick the one on the right, but it looks like a different time of day. Now when you turn HDR on, things get interesting. On the P20, the dynamic range is slightly boosted. Colors are a little bit more vibrant. The background is slightly exposed better. Over Overall, it's a more appealing shot compared to the previous photo. But the P20 Pro looks completely different. This honestly looks like a different time of the day. The reds on the truck no longer look like they did before. They're kind of reminiscent of a toy fire truck. The background still looks great, but overall the photo looks a little bit too exaggerated. Now in this shot, I put on the 40 megapixel sensor on the P20 Pro just to see if I can capture more detail at a further length. Now I didn't really get much just because of the time of day and how cloudy it is, so not much really came out. But overall, both photos look great. I think the P20 did a good job job of a more natural look, whereas the P20 Pro looks a little bit more sharper and there looks like to be a little bit more dynamic range. Now there's one interesting thing to note. If you look at the shadows on the P20 Pro, they're a lot darker than they are on the P20. The building on the right hand side is a lot easier to see on the P20 compared to the P20 Pro. Now as you can see in this shot, the P20 Pro is again too heavy on the shadows, taking away some of the detail from the shot. I think the P20 did a much better job of exposing the photo. Now, the color vibrancy is better on the P20 Pro. If you look at the sign where it says beauty on the left-hand side, it's a lot more vibrant and punchy compared to the P20. Even in the buildings in the background look slightly better on the P20 Pro. But overall, I think the P20 did a better job of exposing the photo. So again, I decided to turn on HDR. And as you can see on the P20, it slightly boosted the colors. Overall, it's a much more appealing picture compared to before. Again, on the P20 Pro, the colors are significantly boosted. It looks like a different time of day. Now, some of you might like this. This could be Instagram ready for a lot of you people. I think for some people who like exaggerated colors, you could work with the P20 Pro and be happy. But if you want a more natural shot, I think the P20 is doing a better job. Now I decide to throw on the 40 megapixel sensor on the P20 Pro and zoom all the way into the Canada Life Tower. As you can see, you capture a lot more detail on the P20 Pro. The Canada Life is a lot more visible. The details around the windows and the building itself are a lot more visible, but you do get some purple fringing or chromatic aberration on the top of the building. You can see that purple infringing into the picture. So that's something to keep in mind if you decide to take it from 10 megapixels to 40 megapixels. Now it's time for some indoor photos. I took a picture of a salad because a bunch of you said you wanted some food pictures. So P20 did a better job of exposing the colors correctly. The P20 Pro looks a little bit more vibrant, but it also has a warmer purpley tone to it, which I don't think looks as appealing as the P20. Next up, I decided to turn on HDR and the P20 Pro completely exaggerated the colors of the salad. I don't think it looks good at all. I'd have to fix this in post-production, whereas the P20 with HDR on gives it a slight boost, making the salad a little bit more dark green and the red cherry tomatoes a little bit redder. This photo does a fantastic job showing the differences between both cameras. On the left-hand side, the P20 does a better job of showing details in the shadows. If you look at the table, you can see more of the side and the cast of the shadow is not as dark, especially if you look at the couch. If you look at the side of the couch, you can see more details on the sheet compared to the P20 Pro. But with the P20 Pro, you get slightly more contrast and a little bit more dynamic range. So again, we have the exact same photo, but this time with HDR on. The P20 slightly boosts the colors, making the photo slightly more visually appealing. I think it looks natural and it looks great. Whereas on the P20 Pro, it looks like a totally different picture shot on a different time of the day, like a brighter time of the day. Now, the good news is you get a more vibrant photo if that's your thing. You also get more details in the shadow. So the shadows on the left hand side of the table are not as dark as before and you can even see the details on the sheet on the couch which you couldn't see in the previous picture. Now when it comes to nighttime photography both of these phones do an amazing job. If you look at this photo they both look pretty equal but I am going to give the slight advantage to the P20. The photo itself looks a lot more warm. If you look at the street it looks a lot more vibrant, a lot more warm. The sign is not as overexposed compared to the P20 Pro and the P20 does a much better job with the shadows. If you look just below the display window, you can see the shadows on the green brick, whereas on the P20 Pro, it didn't even pick it up. 
So here's another nighttime shot comparing both phones. I think the P20 again did a slightly better job. The photo itself looks a little bit more warm. It's a little bit more clear, like you can see the reflections better on the road. If you look on the left hand side, the lights are a little bit more visible and have a nice warm tone to it. And it just looks a little bit brighter. I think the P20 Pro did a great job as well, but the image itself is just not as appealing. When it comes to the front facing camera, both of these phones have the exact same 24 megapixel sensor. So you're not gonna see that much of a difference. So this shot is shot on with beauty level number three. Does a pretty good job of smoothing the skin. It's not too exaggerated. Makes my complexion look a little bit better. Now here it is again without beauty mode on, on level zero. Now you can see more of the imperfections in my skin and it looks a lot more true to life. Next up is portrait mode, and I think the P20 Pro did a better job, more dynamic range, the colors look properly exposed, and the image itself just looks a little bit more pleasing. Now when it comes to aperture mode, which uses software to blur the background compared to portrait mode, the P20 Pro boosts the colors significantly. It looks a little bit too unnatural, but it did do a better job of keeping the background blurred, whereas on the P20 it looks a little bit more natural, but you get slightly less depth of field. So when it comes to video, both of these phones do a great job in 1080p. The footage looks great, everything is nice and stabilized using EIS and OIS. But when you swap it to 4K, things start to fall apart. The image looks kind of the same, but you don't get any more stabilization. OIS stops working and you have to depend on EIS. So great footage in 1080p, but not really usable in 4K. So here are my closing thoughts. Both of these phones take fantastic photos, but I do find the P20 Pro to be a little too inconsistent with its software processing. Just note, if you do buy this phone, you're gonna have to be comfortable with manipulating the settings. So knowing what time of day to use HDR, knowing when to use night mode, and being very comfortable on using pro mode to get the perfect shot. Whereas with the P20, you can leave it on auto, you can leave it on HDR, you're always gonna get pretty close to true color representation. So that pretty much wraps up my camera comparison between both of these phones. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you want to see more pictures from these phones, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I've got a ton on there for you. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video.